<laughs> but nonetheless, uh, I mean, this is just so messy and like it's such a bad look. Yeah, exactly. That's that's the the I guess the consequences of this stuff happening is that everybody is like looking at crypto as like, yeah, I told you, the I whole know. thing's a scam. Yeah, because now it's trickling. The sentiment of scam activities are trickling into everything else now. And yeah. like, what else is a scam? What else? Who? Who else should we not trust? Oh, maybe everybody. Yeah. Right. You know, well, just because Sam got caught in this predicament, does it mean like anything else out there is uh, equally or less? See that, and that's the more? biggest thing is that Sam was the poster boy of like Congress and crypto. Yeah. And like, and then he just like it's it's gone now. Yeah. Like, who's the guy now? Is yeah, the be- guy who was supposed to come out and like you know educate the masses, I guess, yeah. on uh, crypto and its viability and its security and all these things. Yeah. Turned out to be a con man. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> That's horrible for the rest of us, dude. We were like hoping like somebody would be out there. You know, I don't know. What, what the hell happened to Andreas Antonopoulos, dude? Like, yeah, that's true. Uh, why is he, he's out there. He's probably tired, dude. He was yeah, like, yeah. He's like, you know what? I'll let someone else like evangelize yeah. on behalf. And all he does is talk about Bitcoin, which as he should. And it's that important. Yeah, that's his thing, right? Yeah. So we needed some bigger voices to carry the whole damn industries, mm-hmm. all of them, right? Because now crypto, Web3, it's it's a multifaceted thing. Yeah. It's not just Bitcoin anymore. It's everything, right? It's all these tokens, all these right. different layers of tech. Right. Right? Which which nobody trusts intuitively. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> it's just so complicated and not, you know, it's, it's hard to understand yeah. in the beginning. Um, and then, you know... These types of events are the ones that kind of get like pushed the hardest, like yeah. as far as like a mainstream, like a narrative. Yeah, yeah. Go back to the last cycle of BitConnect, and you know what's that guy's name? Carlos. Carlos. I mean, it was a meme. Matos. Yeah, it was like a meme everybody fucking saw and loved, and like that's that's what represented crypto. Yeah. Right. Now here we are again. I'm pretty sure the memes are gonna come out hot, like yeah. super hot. All the <laughs> they're already like showing him and that Caroline chick, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like. <laughs> It's going hand with it, right? I guess based on their looks, yeah. based on a lot of things that, you know, it's like, how could you guys trust these people? Whatever, stuff like this. You know, and, and you know, I, I want to make a comment on that. It's everybody's like dogpiling on Sam and like this this other chick. And like, how, how can you trust these people because of potentially the way they look or whatever? Yeah. But it's so easy to look at, at this in hindsight and like think that this was obvious. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, and it clearly was not. I well, mean, Mr. Was, Wonderful yeah. got wrecked. Galaxy Digital, like so many institutions, all A16Z, these guys, all of them got wrecked. Yeah. Like, it wasn't obvious. Yeah. I I, I still think, I don't know. I, I, I can attribute it to, like, this guy is just, like, an evil genius. I, I, I really do genuinely think these are just a bunch of young kids who, yeah. you know, they, 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 it got out of control for them. Like, the, yeah, they started off as just like crypto traders, and before they knew it, they're running one of the biggest exchanges on the planet. It's yeah. Like, imagine that. Like, uh, yeah, that <laughs> that evolution is uh, from from like a human pr- perspective. Yeah, like but, the amount of responsibility and logistics that go into that. Yeah, all the pressure. Everybody's looking at you like you're some sort of like. But think about you're you're sitting on your computer and you're like you have this other company. It's like falling apart, Alameda. Yeah, and and. You're thinking about moving customer funds over to this other account. Mm-hmm. Like, isn't that enough to like question whether or not you should actually push the button to transfer <laughs> the funds? Like, isn't? Yeah, I mean, it, it is and it isn't just because again, like, all the pressures of what people expect from you, right? He's probably yeah, he's guess. sitting there again. Everybody, he's got he's a, being he, touted again. He's the guy. He's the front man of of all of our whole features. You know, like, we're pushing him out there in front of Congress and stuff. So you can't he can't risk any sort of devaluation of of his uh, reputation, right? So yeah.